Good day everyone, I am Stella Hunter Fox, and this is my colorful life. More specifically, this is my closet. So today I'm going to go through my things, do my seasonal switch up, where I'm going to get rid of the spring and summer clothes and bring in the fall and winter. I'm not really quite ready for that, but the season is, so let's get started. Um, you may notice that I'm not wearing much, but in this process, of course, when I decide if something is staying or going, I may have to try it on. So a lot of that happens when I do a client's closet audit or when I do my own closet audit. Um, I'll try to keep it as modest as possible. I have my mirror, which is off camera, but right here, which I will need to decide whether things are cute enough to stay or if they gotta go. Let's do this. You may notice that I have things fairly color-coded. Stuff gets mixed up along the way a little bit, but I try to keep it fairly organized. Now, do you do this? Do you put away your summer stuff for the winter? Or do you fit it all in year-round? Let me know in the comments below. So, the reason why I do this is because, well, one thing, I do have, <laughs> I have a lot of clothes. And, but I like to have movement space. I want to be able to see things clearly so I can figure out what I want to wear. If things are too packed and you have to really kind of squeeze in between to try and see, that gets just really frustrating really fast. So leave as much space as possible to make getting ready just that little bit easier. Tank top. This one's more blousy. Now tank tops you would think would be put away for winter because it's the perfect summer thing, right? But it's also the perfect layering piece. So under button-up shirts if you want to unbutton them or under a blazer cardigan. So tank tops, they stick around too. This jacket, it's a little bit on the costumey side, which a lot of my costumey things get stored in another room, in the basement specifically, which I call my tickle trunk. But it does get incorporated into my wardrobe every once in a while, and I think it's just absolutely exquisite. I specifically love it with this beautiful sleeveless blouse, so I do tend to wear them together. So in this case, which is very rare, I hang them on the same hanger. This one is super summery. This I go, this is my cover up often at the beach. So it screams summer to me, but it has a little bit more use because it has a sleeve and in the fall, you just need a sleeve, right? Okay. So most of my whites are sticking around. Now interestingly, I have a sweater, even though this is my summer closet, but this is a very lightweight, really pretty colored sweater and this one does stick around in my closet year-round because sometimes in the spring and summer you need just something that's a little bit cozy okay so here's some summery things every things that just got piled on randomly in a in a hurry uh this is a little caplet kind of thing that will be put away there's a bodysuit So some things, like I said, will be put on my clothing rack to stay on hangers. But I have a trunk in my room that stores my off-season things that don't need to be hung up. Things that I don't have to worry about them wrinkling. And those will go in my trunk. Here are some pretty tanks. This one sticks around you around. Absolutely. I forgot about this one. Isn't that pretty? The sparkle. This one, although it's a tank and usually they stick around, this one is really summery to me. And in fact, it's one of these really fun kind of like music festival weekend sort of pieces. But as much as I love it, I haven't worn it like in a long time. So. That one gets to go. Here's another t-shirt. 
to me is really summery. It's like one of those burnout fabrics. And there's definitely don't wear this in the fall or winter. Sweater, I love it. It has this really cool cowl in the back that sticks around. These two flowery things, they definitely stick around here all seasons. Sometimes you just need a little pretty over thing. This one with a dress is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite pieces of all time. Never wear it. Bye bye. Love these pieces. Super fun. Okay, more odd tanks and things. This one is really fun. It's by Voila, which is a Winnipeg brand. And uh, you can either wear it like that, or those come down like a little cape, which is really fun. Here's a top that's really cool. I guess it's pretty similar to this one. But it has um, these interesting fabric covered beads and a couple of them are starting to unravel. Now I need to decide if it's worth fixing to keep it around or if I should get rid of it. Now it's a really bad idea to keep something in your closet that needs some sort of repair because you're never going to get around to it if it's in here, right? You'll pull it out and you'll say, oh I'd love to wear this. Oh shoot, it still needs ironing and then you put it back. So it never ever gets done. So make sure you have a place to put your things that need to be fixed or ironed or brought to the tailor so that they actually get done. Otherwise, they're just taking up space and will never get used. Here's another tank, but it's a bit more blousy, really comfy and relaxed and neutral. <laughs> you may notice I don't have a lot of things that are in the sort of brown family. And uh, this is one of the few things that I have. So this, I've, I've had it for years, but it sticks around because every once in a while you need something that's, you know, kind of brown. Unless, of course, it's leopard print. These are the neutrals that get worn all the time. My favorite neutral. Not much came out of there. But at the same time, I don't think I'll have much to add to there because those are just a lot of stuff. Here's the black section. You would think that I wouldn't have a lot of black because I don't wear a lot of black. But most of them are pieces that you would add to other outfits, right? So colorful skirt, colorful dress. You need something black sometimes just to let the other color pop. So I have lots of black tanks in various stages of fit or relaxed or cowl or what have you. Um, great little lace top for when you need just a little something. And vests. <laughs> I love vests. I should really wear them more often because I have them in every configuration you could possibly imagine. But yeah, they're sticking around. Oh. And this was my favorite. This one is Jean-Paul Gaultier. And the detail on this is absolutely exquisite. Love it. Here's a, it, it's kind of like a button up, but without the buttons. What I love about tops like this, with the collar, it gives you that kind of feel, but doesn't have the buttons down the front, is that you don't have to worry about the button gap, especially around the boobs, which is so annoying. You know how annoying it is. I know how annoying it is. And finding a top that fits, that doesn't do that, is really difficult. So I love, love tops like that. This is so cute. And I keep it around because it's so cute. But you know what? I haven't worn it in years. Maybe my daughter will want it. But I think it's time for it to go. Here's something I just picked up recently at Salvation Army. 
so I haven't even had a chance to wear it yet. But I do love a bodysuit because, you know, it doesn't come untucked, which is awesome. So when you want something to be really pulled together and not go anywhere, this is the thing. And uh, I'm excited to bring this into my wardrobe. Flannel plaid shirt. Again, I'm not quite sure why this one stuck around in my closet for summer. I have to say the only reason why I still have this is just in case you need a costume. You know, because plaid flannel is just not really me. So you know what I should do is put it in the basement with my other costumey things. Now this, it's sheer, it's blousy, it's very summery in color, but it's also really great under a blazer, so it's going to stick around. Back into the far reaches, I find an orange sweater. Yeah, you get to stay. So fall to me is blazer weather. This is when I wear pretty much all of these on a regular basis, and not necessarily because I'm wearing suits and blazers and going to those kinds of events or or that kind of workplace, but because these get used as my jacket, as my outdoor jacket. But there's this one, which I love the color. I like the fit of it. it I, just, I like the idea of it, but I just haven't worn it for a couple of years. I don't know why, and sometimes you just can't explain why, right? But you just know that it's time for it to get passed on to someone who will love it. Consistently wear and love all of these. All the way back to my black. Love this one. It's a bit like a tuxedo. The velvet and the, uh, the satin on the collar. And last year I found a pair of uh, navy pants, uh, satin pants that look really great with this. So I'm just waiting for the right time when I need to look like I'm wearing a tuxedo. So in here is where I have a lot of summer cover-up sarong sort of things and they will definitely all get put away. <sighs> In these situations it's best to just pull everything out and then organize it and then put it back in instead of trying to take out piece by piece which is just kind of a mess. Okay, that looks so much better. So now I have long sleeve t-shirts, mostly for athletic purposes, dark tank tops, white tank tops, light tank tops, dark t-shirts, colorful t-shirts, and pajama bottoms. Okay! Next, second half of my closet. This is where I have full length dresses, some pants, skirts, and then shorter dresses. There's a lot. <laughs> Love this dress. It's silk. It's very airy and gorgeous and definitely summer. So this I'll put away. <laughs> this adorable little thing my mom made for me actually uh, when I was a teenager. So it still comes out once in a while, often in a costumey sort of pinup way now, and as opposed to just wearing it around town. And this is a really cute play suit. So these are definitely summer. They can go away. Uh, Leonard Taylor hand painted dress. He did this one during a show. It was super exciting to take it home. Yeah, I think it's gonna go away for the season. I have a lot of summer dresses. I wear them all. I love lots of color and pattern. <laughs> this one I call my construction dress. Because <laughs> I tend to wear it when I'm doing yard work or fixing stuff. Um, and often just around the house. So this is sort of like my house dress. So that sticks around. 
Here's a kimono that I got in the spring, and I have worn it a few times. I'm not sure if this will have any use for me in the fall. I think probably not, but maybe so it's gonna stick around. <laughs> Sometimes I am indecisive. Oh, a couple more play suits. Okay, these sort of really flirty, you know, club dresses. They're both really similar, so I should probably, probably try them on and get rid of one of them. Pretty sassy, hey? Yeah. Hard to get rid of something as awesome as that. I certainly like the other one better. This one's, it's super comfy. I'll tell you what, you tell me which one you like better. Uh, this is black dress number two, and then black dress number one, the one I just tried on, and you tell me which one you like better. Maybe that'll help me decide, okay? <laughs> Isn't that fun? Can never get rid of that one. Betsy Johnson. And back here is my tutu. I love this dress. It doesn't get worn often, but every once in a while it just needs to come out and play. And, and if I go to Vegas, always the tutu. Okay, look at how much space I have there now. I love this maxi dress in the summer. Especially if it's a little bit coolish and I just want an extra something on my legs. But I don't tend to wear maxi dresses in the fall and definitely not in the winter. I think I, I kept it around for a while for um, St. Patrick's Day because, you know, green. But I'll show you next what I wear instead because it's epic. Yeah, I think it can go. Now what I do wear at St. Patrick's Day is this. Uh, you might know if you follow me on Instagram already what I wear. It's become a tradition for me. This is a vintage silk wrap dress and it's shamrock pattern. Isn't it awesome? So I wear this now every St. Patrick's Day and I probably always will. Oh, it needs to be washed. See, it's handy to do this. More DVF will never go away. Sorry if anybody's interested in buying stuff from my closet. <laughs> Diane von Furstenberg dresses are never going away. Here's another one. Here's another one, but this is actually a romper. Like little shorts on the bottom. Love this in the summer, but it is summer, so it'll go away. Got a jumpsuit. This one's vintage. And it's, it's too long, so sometimes I'll like scrunch up the bottom of the legs with, with pins, but I haven't actually properly fixed it so that it fits me in the leg. I should probably do that. Okay, and the fix-it pile. Now the other hard part about having a fix-it pile is getting around to the fix-it pile. But I find that when I do, I have all these fun things that I almost forgot I had. Like, ooh, I remember you. This dress is gorgeous. It's etro silk made in Italy. So fine and soft and lovely and summer. Ooh, I totally meant to wear this this summer and I completely forgot. So it's just like a really basic red. It has a little bit of ruching on the bottom and a cowl neck. It's just simple and sexy and I haven't worn it. I kind of forgot about it. So maybe I'll have an opportunity before it gets too cold. So I'll let this one hang around for a bit.
I'm very torn on this dress. So it's made by Leonard Taylor, again, um, local designer. I love him to bits. And I bought this dress from him a couple of summers ago. And I've tried to like it. Like, I like it on other people. I love it on other people. On me, I just feel completely overwhelmed and I like fuss with it, play with it, belt it, rebelt it, rebelt it, and it just doesn't work. So, sorry, LT. I think I'm selling this one. Meh. One of my favorite vintage pinup dresses. Looks like records. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Totally 50s. Yeah, that'll stick around. These are the na satin navy pants that I said look great with that blazer as a tuxedo. Love these. So I haven't worn them all summer. I should have put them away. Um, so they're definitely winter. They're definitely staying. Ooh, this is getting full. Oh, this one. I haven't worn it yet because I just acquired it. It's John Galliano, made in France. It's exquisite. I can't wait for the opportunity to wear that one. Uh, yeah, here's a pair of jeans. So these are uh, Lenard Taylor again. These are the uh, raw denim custom jeans I had him made for me, make for me um, four years ago maybe. And uh, the reason why I hang them is because raw jeans, your raw denim, you're not supposed to wash it much. And you don't really want to fold it either because it's supposed to kind of take the shape of your body. So I actually hang them. I just put the belt loops through this really long hanger and hang them up like that. Look, it's, it's, like, I'm, it's like I'm wearing them. <laughs> they can almost stand up on their own. Okay, and this suit is so beautiful. So this is Versace, uh, vintage, 90s, and I haven't worn it yet, sadly, because I tend to not wear pants when I go out. So these outfits that look like tuxedos, I don't know, I have to make myself think of them. But this is definitely needing just the right event. Isn't it amazing? Woo! My black leather pants, time to start wearing those again. These guys. I like them in concept and I have worn them and I do get compliments on them when I do, but somehow I'm just not drawn to wearing them much, so let's get rid of them. This was my first version of a suit ever, these uh, BCBG pants and this matching sort of corset style top had them for years and then I didn't wear them forever and ever and I was like oh it's time to get rid of them and then I totally just wore it last weekend so now it gets put back into the fold and uh got worn again I recently found these um in a box I, I wore this when I was a teenager you know with like thigh high socks and army boots and some cute tea and uh, I got so excited when I found it and I showed it to my daughter and I'm like, look, isn't it cute? She's like, I wear a lot of plaid, mom, because they wear uniforms for school, right? So she's so not interested in plaid and she doesn't have to. I can't blame her. But these as well. My, um, my mom made these out of this fabric that my dad bought in Egypt when he was stationed there as a peacekeeper in the army. I, I recall wearing this one when I was a teenager or like 12 year old. And I don't think I ever wore this one. You know what, I'm not even sure if either of these fit me. But these are <laughs> things of my childhood, things my mom made, like they're precious to me. How lovely is that? Oh, I'm so excited. Incredible. Yeah, that's too small. So maybe my 
daughters will be interested in it at some point. I love clothing with a history. Do you have emotional attachments to any of your clothing? Because I sure do. It happens to me a lot. Let me know in the comments. These ones are really unusual and kind of special occasion. This one screams summer, doesn't it? So pretty. I think this one could be done with tights. We'll see what happens. Do you think I like leopard print? <laughs> Definitely sticking around, both of them. Definitely summer. Almost makes me wish I could play tennis. So can't play tennis. <laughs> and a couple suits. This is Nanette Lepore, whom I love. It's a really, really darling suit. It is slightly awkward to find the right situation because it is sleeveless. So definitely sticks around year-round but yeah love the color love the fit this suit which um, again if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen my blog my website I did a whole uh, magazine spread of um, why you should own a suit and it was about this suit so I had this suit split up with a bunch of different uh, other pieces to make different outfits. It's a really, really fun photo. You should see it. It's, it is a magazine, like a trifold spread, but it's all pictures of me in the same photo. Ian McCausland did it and it's totally phenomenal. I'm gonna link that in the description so you can see it because it's so cool. I, it's one of my favorite things we've ever done. This is the the spot where I shove things, you know, when I want to go to bed and I just shove stuff away. Um, I have uh, a corset, which goes up in uh, a different spot in my cupboard. Oh, another corset. This is my steampunk corset. I don't know the same spot. Here's my favorite crinoline. My rainbow crinoline. And it gets stored on the shelf above everything, and I can only reach it if I go get a chair. So I'm just going to put it here for now. So I went and I grabbed the winter things that I keep in a closet in another room. Mostly dresses. This one's vintage. Love the print. Rich, deep colors. I love these. This one is clearly more uh, special occasion, nice satin, and this one is just this really comfy knit. I wear this one a lot for like closet audits and stuff because I just need to be comfy but still look professional. Okay, <laughs> pardon my pause, but I sometimes get a headache when I have my hair up on the top of my head. And I often find that if I leave it sort of poofy and loose enough in the back that I'm okay that I don't get a headache. But it's happening anyway, so bear with me. It's gotta come down. <laughs> oh, you know that feeling? Oh, still good and yet painful at the same time. All right, that's what you get for the rest of the video. <laughs> That'll go in the other, in the other closet. This beautiful 90s Escada velvet jacket. It's like gorgeous. Love this vintage corduroy 50s dress. And I love all of these. I'm so not ready to wear them yet. I don't, I'm not ready to need cozy clothes. So this one's fun. This one's much lighter. 
but I tend to use it for fall and winter anyway because the sleeves are really tight and if I wear them in the summer I just get hot. And uh, it's lined so I can wear tights with it and it doesn't get all stuck on your legs. So now during this season when I have far fewer short dresses, then I take my suits from up there and I bring them down because that's where I have more room now. Okay, so I dove into the trunk and there will be maybe a few sweaters and blazers that will go into this side of the closet and the rest was sweater dresses going back over on the other side. So I'll be doing another flip back over there. So this is another situation where I like to use little hangers that were my kids hangers that they don't even want to use anymore on uh, sweaters that I want to have in the closet as opposed to a drawer but I like this one is really really tiny probably because it shrank a little bit but a really wide hanger will make the sleeves get pokey and I hate pokey sleeves. So I find one of the little kid ones. Okay, so now I have a bunch of sweater dresses. Here's another one where I grabbed a little kid hanger to keep the shoulders nice. This one has seen better days. It's got a lot of pills. So maybe I'll spend some time with a shaver and see if it looks better. If not, it might have to go. Thank you for joining me today on this little trip to the inner sanctum of my wardrobe. If you enjoyed watching what I have, be sure to check me out on Instagram because I'm always posting fashion pics over there. I'd like to inspire my followers and subscribers to put some color into their life. Because there's enough gray in this world.